Welcome to the second installment of Getting Hot in the Kitchen. I'm Carson. I'm Maggie. And I'm Ryan. And today we are cooking chicken pot pie asked for by our good friend Mickey. Thank you, Mickey, Thank for you. responding. <laughs> so today we will be using one cup of chicken. This whole entire thing was $4, so about 88 cents a pound. We'll be using one and two thirds a cup of frozen vegetables. This whole entire thing was $1.99. Half of a cup of milk. Milk is normally about $2. You'll have this whole entire thing to drink by yourself, though. A can of cream of chicken soup. This was $1.29. One egg, probably about 20 cents. And a cup of Bisquick mix. This we will be only using a cup, so you're going to end up having most of the bag left, and this only costs $2.50. So... It's a pretty cheap meal. It's really, really easy to make. We're only going to take about a half hour, and this video will be sped up, so you guys will get the best instruction to cook a chicken pot pie. Let's get cooking. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the kitchen. Your first step in making this delicious chicken pot pie is going to be to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Next, you're going to take your one cup of chicken, your one and two-thirds cup of mixed vegetables, and your can of cream of chicken soup, and mix those all together. All right, so now that we're all measured up, first, we take our cream of chicken soup, pour that into our mixing bowl. Okay, next, add your one and two thirds cup of vegetables. And your cup of chicken. Now it's important to wash your hands in between these steps because raw chicken can carry diseases like salmonella. So now that everything's in the bowl, we're going to start mixing it up. Try and get everything nice and coated in the cream of chicken soup. Okay, so the next part of this is going to be making your pie crust. What you need for that is you need one cup of Bisquick, a cup and a half of milk, and one egg. So now that your egg, your half cup of milk, and your cup of Bisquick are all in the mixing bowl, you're going to want to mix everything together so that it creates a kind of pancake-like batter. <laughs> Next, you're going to take your pie pan and you're going to add the cream of chicken soup mixed with the vegetables and chicken. Now make sure when you add it to the pan, you get every last bit out of your mixing bowl and then you flatten it down so that it's even. So that when, you, when your uh, pie is in the oven, it will cook evenly. Now that your vegetables are in the pan, you're going to pour over the top your Bisquick batter. And like with the cream chicken soup, you want to spread that out so that it's completely covering all the chicken and vegetables. Now it takes a little time to get it right, but making sure that all the vegetables and chicken are completely covered really makes it so that your food is going to be a lot better tasting. Now that the Bisquick is completely covering all of the chicken, vegetables, and cream of chicken soup, you're going to take it and put it in the oven for about 30 minutes or until golden. And now we wait. Alright guys, so the timer just went off, so let's see how our pot pie is doing. Oh, seems to be ready. And look at that. A delicious chicken pot pie, golden brown crust. And all of these ingredients to make this pie, which creates four servings, about four meals for your average male, cost under $5. Now that's insane. Thank you for being with us at Getting Hot in the Kitchen. 